good morning uh, it's proud privilege to be associated with uh, 75th independence uh, india celebrations azadi ka amrit utsav on this day uh, i have been asked to speak on the importance of national uh, flag and uh, we all know uh, the significance of national flag we all know how we all respect national flag but very often what we forget is we have not gone into the history of how did this concept of national flag emerge the concept of flag was there you will find uh, if you read history books if you read uh, uh, any book you will find uh, societies had flags kingdoms had flags but the idea of nation state having a flag or rather i should say state nation having a flag emerged much much later the origin of it starts from 17th century and it is with the emergence of nation state or state nation the idea of nationalism came and with the idea of nationalism flag national flag became a very important aspect in the uh, daily life of every uh, citizen of that particular nation uh, <clears throat> that is the reason why we all are told or directed to be very careful while handling the issue of national flag and national flag is considered to be the biggest uh, example of nationalism that we all inculcate in us right from our ch uh, childhood we are taught about nationalism we are taught about we learn lot of things about nationalism that takes me to the point what exactly is nationalism nationalism by nationalism what we mean is each nation should govern itself free from outside interference or in other words our loyalty and devotion should be to the nation state where we belong nationalism uh, is an ideology in fact on the belief that a community of people with common characteristics such as language religion ethnicity living uh, together uh, this is the reason why nationalism uh, became very important and the origin of nationalism starts from nation the idea of nation started in the 17th century and how did this idea of nation emerge all the people who were led by same government who share a history tradition language culture came to constitute a nation and from nation emerged the idea of nationalism nationalism holds that each one of us should be sovereign uh, we should be free from any kind of interference uh, <clears throat> or it, it means total loyalty to our geographical identity identity our uh, economic identity our cultural identity in other words very soon nationalism became a very powerful ideology on the belief that a community of people with a common characteristics such as language religion ethnicity will represent a nation and best way to represent uh, this ideology is symbolized through national flag why because national flag became the symbol of sovereignty independence etc and that is the reason why during our independence movement the flag became very important and people rallied under the particular flag that was be, that was uh, made by the party which was leading the independence movement and we will also see that how when the flag was designed actually over the years when finally national flag was adopted it had lot of similarities with our independence movement national uh, independence movement flag that was used by the freedom fighters from time to time while of organizing their agitations against uh, the british rule and this is the reason why flag is national flag is always considered to be the symbol of sovereignty independence etc it the reason why national flag uh, is considered to be a very important symbol is because it represents an ideal 
uh, an ideal it represents the sacrifices of the people for the uh, it represents the qualities for which the people and the country stand for it also symbolizes the unchanging characteristics of a nation best example is our own national flag in fact our national flag represents what we stand for not only within the country but externally also most of our uh, positions uh, over the last 75 years has been reflected uh, uh, through our national flag for example our uh, <coughs> approach towards ahimsa our approach uh, towards uh, fellow human beings all that represents our uh, are represented in our national flag how it is represented in our national flag i'll tell you uh, later before that how did we uh, adopt or how did we come to this national flag is very important the first national flag that we designed it was in 1906 and it was hoisted uh, in green park in calcutta by uh, the freedom fighters the difference was that it had three uh, colors and uh, it had lotus uh, flower on it plus it was written one day matram on it this was the first national flag that was hoisted by the freedom fighters in 1906 1907 the next national flag was uh, hoisted that was hoisted by madam kama which was also known as within the congress party as the berlin committee and uh, in 1917 the third national flag was hoisted by any uh, madam any besant and lokmanya tilak during their home rule movement which was also somewhat similar to the earlier uh, flags of three colors representing uh, the idea of india uh, and it carried the words of vande matram as well as the flag that was hoisted by any besant also carried in one corner the union jack or the flag national flag of the colonizers uh, which of course was uh, used then but then was not accepted uh, by the people in general it was in 1921 during the uh, all india uh, congress committee meeting in vijayawada or then known as basawada that the idea of national flag was designed by a person who was recently in news once again because it was his birth centenary known pingle venkaya he approached mahatma gandhi with a uh, flag saying that this is an ideal way of uh, representing our country he had designed the flag in such a way the first uh, color was white second one was uh, orange and third one was green uh white represented uh, honesty or general in general what we stand for the second one orange represented the hindus according to him and third color green was uh, meant for the muslim community since hindus and muslims constituted two major communities pingli venkaya uh, had designed the national flag in that way over Uh, the years discussions took place on this flag and he was asked to revise the national flag by mahatma gandhi and in 1931 once again he redesigned it with orange on top white in the middle and uh, green uh, in the last uh, section but then mahatma gandhi wanted uh, charkha to be also uh, included in it and he included charkha in it 1931 uh, this particular flag was accepted as the national flag in 1947 july uh, 1947 for the first time a revised national flag once again designed by uh, pingli venkaya was accepted from which charkha was removed and uh, the new designed uh, national flag carried orange in the first column second column was white with uh, the ashokan pill, uh, wheel or as we known as as it is known as the uh, wheel of dharma was included in the middle and third was the green color 
but then they did not represent any community they did not represent any kind of religious symbol very often we mistake that orange stands for a particular community green stands for a particular community and white is uh, representing uh, truth but then when the constituent assembly uh, accepted this form uh, this flag in july uh, 1947 the entire representation of flag was given a new meaning based on the kind of nation that we are going to come by including the unity and diversity of our nation and this is where we need to understand what each color stands for very often our uh, uh, people or we in general never understand what is the significance of orange orange color that is represented in our national flag stands for strength and courage uh, white stands for peace and truth with the dharma chakra in the central uh, and green stands for fertility growth auspicious nature etc and very often we call our national flag as tiranga but if you notice it has four colors recently uh, a very interesting incident happened uh, in a classroom when a student questioned uh, the teacher asking why why is why is this flag being called uh, tiranga why because uh, because it has a four, fourth color also the teacher was bit uh, taken aback but then the student pointed out uh, a, a small student in first standard or second standard saying that there is blue color in it what does it represent so actually when we talk about our national flag the three colors are major colors but there is there are four colors in it the fourth one is blue and blue represents the sky and the ocean and it stands for the universal uh, truth this particular aspect we very often uh, forget uh, the manner in which it is represented uh, in our national flag so and that blue color is the dharma chakra which, which has 24 lines or 24 spokes and they represent the different uh, aspects of our life like lo love, hope, uh, patience, spiritual knowledge, sympathy, justice, uh, faithfulness, goodness, etc. So this is uh, in brief what our national flag is all about and why we should not resp respect it because it represents each one of us through its colors, through its uh, spokes and uh, uh, disrespecting national flag is as good as disrespecting your mother or disrespecting your country. And this is the reason why we get very emotional when national flag is hoisted and national anthem is played. The, it represents us in spite of all our diversities. It, it, is, the, it is the symbol that brings us all under one umbrella. Jai Hind.